Hey, what's up, y'all? Today I'm going to be sounding off on. What am I going to title this video? Um, I'm not sure, but what it has to do with is I was surfing good old YouTube and I saw a video about being a single mother. And so I think I'm going to title this video You Are a Single Mother by Choice. Now, I was watching this video and this particular person was upset because, and I'm sweating because I've been drinking. I've been drinking, yes. But anyway, this particular person, I guess, is a single mother. And they were upset because um, they get upset when people tell her that, do you know your child or your son needs a father? But to me, when a single mother is a single mother, whether it's of a male or a female child, a child needs a father in their life. It makes a big, big difference. And to me, I feel like when you have sex, you know when you have sex, the outcome is either going to be pleasure, no pleasure, a baby, no baby, or STD or no STD if it's protected. So to me, there's no such thing as an unplanned pregnancy because you know that having sex leads to a disease or a baby. Pleasure or no pleasure, but mainly a baby or no baby or an STD or no STD. And so, this particular person was saying, um, this person would say, you know, you need a dad for your, you know, you know, your son needs a dad. And she's like, what am I supposed to grow a penis within the next five minutes? And I'm like, why get upset? Because you had that penis for five or, or whatever minutes you said when you were conceiving that child. So why get upset? Another thing is, not all single mothers, to me, I'm, I'm going to give it half and half. And it might not even be half and half, but I'm going to give it half and half. Because not all single mothers are single mothers because uh, they laid up with the wrong dude or ain't for shit dude. You know what I'm saying? Some people are, some females are married and their spouse died. Or they just grew different ways. Or You know what I'm saying? So not all single mothers are single mothers because of bad decisions and bad choices. I'm going to tell you that to me, and it's just my opinion, the majority of them are. And if this makes you mad, then that might be your true So you know what I'm saying? But I've known, matter of fact, I had females in my family who people were asking, when are you going to get married or when are you going to have a baby and this, that, and this, that, and yada, 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 and woo woo And this particular family member went out and had a baby by a deadbeat, a deadbeat. Hmm. But anyway, um, like I was saying, she went out and she had a baby by a deadbeat and this particular guy's mother was telling her he has um, a son. You don't want a child by this man, but at the time, my family member was already pregnant, so it wasn't like she'd go out and get an abortion, but she knew that this dude had a child, did not take care of his teenage son, but ended up having a child by him and expected him to be totally different and to be, you know what I'm saying, even though he faked the funk like he wanted a child and, you know, ooh, but, um, so that's the answer of going out and having a baby on purpose, she knew that she was going to be a single mother because his own mother is telling her, don't have a baby by my son. You need to go get an abortion. Such, 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 such. He don't take care of his first child. He ain't going to take care of this child. But she decided to bring the child in the world anyway. And I'm not saying to have an abortion. What I'm saying is to, there are signs that a guy is a deadbeat. And there are questions that you should be asking guys. Do you have kids? Are you in your kids' lives? Do you take care of your kids? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? And when someone says you need a child for your father. Or you're one of the females who didn't make a stupid decision and your spouse just happened to die or y'all grew out of each other. Um, when someone says you need a child for your father, you shouldn't be offended. If you're not one of the silly fem females out here that went out there and made a mistake back in your past, and even if you made a mistake and made a foolish decision in your past, you know, most females know that sex leads to children, STDs, or pleasure, or none of the above. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. 
So you made the choice to become a single parent. When you lay up with a man and you don't set any standards and you don't lay a foundation on whether he has to marry you or be committed to you. And um, marriage is not, I'm not going to say marriage is a guarantee that a man will stick around and take care of your child. But you, I guess you can discern whether they're serious or not. You know what I'm saying? Because really a, a, a child is better off with, with two parents. It is what it is. Now, it's a lot of females out here who are saying they are single parents because the guy don't want to be with them. But it does not mean because the guy don't want to be with you that you're a single parent. He could not want to be with you all day long or she could not want to be with you all, all day long. But as long as they take care of their responsibility and take care of their child, whatever, you are not a single parent. You're single. But you're not a single parent. But all in all, or like, or like for instance, Jasmine on um, Love and Hip Hop, I don't care what nobody say, everybody in their mama knows that Kirk is married. No, that Kirk is married. No, Kirk is married and Jasmine decides to sleep with Kirk anyway because I don't know if she thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but she didn't realize it still has to be watered over there. And I don't know if she thought that he was going to leave his wife. I don't know. She was looking for a come up to me. She was looking for a come up. And she chose to have sex with this married man. Knowing he was married. Knowing he was a dog. Knowing he was no good because he's cheating on his wife. And he's not leaving his wife. He's not informing his wife that he's cheating. But Jasmine decides to get pregnant because they had sex. And when she got pregnant, she decided to keep the baby, her meal ticket. So she decided to become a single parent. So most females in this day and age, when they have sex, you know, you know what it can lead to. A lot of these females are saying that these dudes are deadbeats or yada yada, woo de woo. You know and signs manifest way before, way before you decide you want to get pregnant. So you can't sit and say, um, well, I didn't know he was a, he was no good or he was this, that, and this, that, and the other. Bullshit. Bullshit. You didn't care because you was getting that pain that was feeling good and um, you just didn't care because you got digmatized and you just didn't care. Oh, well, if I have a baby by him, he's going to change. He's going to take care of this baby, even though he didn't take care of the five or six or seven or ten he had. But with me, he's going to take care of my baby. So I feel like a lot of females get, if they get that question, and you was one of the females out here who was just being dumb. And I'm not going to say what I was about to say. But, um, you was one of the females out here being dumb. Yes, you chose to be a single parent. And a lot of guys will be like, I ain't want that bitch to get pregnant. Or what the, I ain't want no kids by her or whatever. But you skeeted all up in her with no condom. Knowing she was crazy. Knowing you wasn't ready to be a father. And see, it's crazy because it's easier for, to me, I feel like it's easier for a male to leave. Because a female, she's carrying the baby. So she has a bond and nine times out of ten, the baby's going to be with the mother. So it's easy for a guy to leave if he's not a real man. But yes, to me, most single mothers choose to become single mothers because you know there are standards that you should be setting way before you all have sex with them. And if he's not doing A through Z before y'all have sex... And y'all not in a committed relationship and y'all not working towards merging. Everybody don't have to work towards merge with it. But y'all not working for the common goal of the child. And both of y'all don't want kids or whatever. Yeah. You became a single parent by choice. You know what the choices were before you got pregnant. So don't sit up there and get angry when somebody says, you know you need a, you, you need, you know you need a child for your father. No. They might just be saying that. That don't mean they're responsible enough to be a father figure for your child. Don't get mad. Own up to it. Acknowledge your mistake. And don't do it again. That's all. But anyway, that's just my two cents. I'm about to wrap this on up. And um, y'all be easy. Y'all stay unapologetically you. 
because I'm gonna always be unapologetically me. I don't want this to get too long, but it's getting long and I'm yeah. But don't forget to rate, thumbs up or thumbs down. It lets me know if you like it or don't. And it's all good. But it's free. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.